Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Sorry, play the game here. Hello everyone, this is Delta Merrix. I'm a little bit slow today. Yeah, you too, buddy. Um, let's go with the video game review for today. This one's going to be about Dice Warrior 7. You might ask, am I playing that game right now? No. I'm playing something completely different I've already done a review for. Anyway, begin with Dynasty Warrior 7. You get to pick between four different dynasties from the Jean Dynasty, Su, Wu, and Wei. I chose Shu first because it's the good guys. They're in green, as Wrinkles Warrior will tell you. That's his favorite color, so he would probably choose that too. Uh, normally, I would choose Wu because they're red. That's my favorite color. Or choose Wei, color of the walls. But. I start off with Shu. All of their pretty, all of their storyline pretty much revolve around one another. They make, there's little sections where they do their own thing, but then they come back and fight one another. Um, the uh, Jean Dynasty is the one that continues on from both or all three to finish off the entire story completely for once. I, when I first played it, I beat it as Wei and Shu, and both were left completely different. And then I got the game once more and been able to beat it off. Um, give or take, each story is about maybe five to six hours, depending on how long you take. Uh, if you want to fight every single enemy on the map or just do the objectives, you can do that. Um, you do not get to choose your own people. They automatically choose it for you. I've always had a problem with that with video games, but this game not so much, except for the way, because uh, there's a fat character on there who doesn't move very well. Yeah, because it's bad? No, because his weapons type is very bad. And uh, Dion Wei also, uh, very slow, but you only get to play him twice, and he uses an axe, so I'm okay with that. His old weapon was a ball and a uh, chain where he would swing it like this. It's horrible. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything. It's basically, if you played any of the other 500 Dynasty Warrior games, you know about this one. It's about the three uh, kingdoms of China back in like 190 something or 200 something AD. And it's about the poetry and all that stuff. You can look back at the older, like even Dynasty Warriors 5, Liu Bei, Yuan Shao, all of them did not even look like that. Now they look like, like they're glorified. So, other mode there is a conquest mode. Much like the other mode for Empire, and Empire mode, obviously what it's called, um, you get to go t from place to place fighting and gaining more uh, attack, defense, all that kind of stuff. And you get and that's the only way you can also unlock other characters to fight in Conquest mode. For the exception of the ones you unlock in Story mode, anyway. Um, it's a pretty good mode. There's, I think, three or four beasts that you can actually unlock. Uh, mine would be, my favorite would be the red hair. His uh, speed is 280, which is very fast. Uh, in the old games, it was like 500. Anyway, he can jump real high and everything. Um, the, the main objective I do when I first start Conquest Mode is unlock Lu Bu. I like Lu Bu because he's powerful, and his halberd makes me better. Now, you might like those cross pikes from Nice Warrior 6, 6 Empires, Strike Force. I may have many more they got of that. Uh, I did too. I actually played the Empire's version and used cross pipes. Okay. Gameplay. Hack and slash. Uh, you go from base to base, take them down each base. Well, usually you, usually you don't, but there's some objectives you actually go there and do that. Um, you get to actually, uh, there's objectives where you have to defeat a certain enemy. Then there's others that say defeat all the enemies. Conquest mode especially does that. Storm mode, not so much. It's more like, go to this place, beat this person, or go here, relay this message, stuff like that. Um, also with the gameplay mode, you get to choose two different styles of fighting. Meaning you can get a sword or a bow, or a pike or, and a spear, stuff like that. And your main character has a expertise in one, where he gets a certain button combination, he does his own certain attack. Now you would think that uh, maybe um, you play South Sal, 
then you play a Su Quan, which I'm pronouncing these all different compared to the others. And the Dynasty Warrior 7, they mispronounce everybody's name. Dynasty Warrior 6 got right, then they start saying it wrong. Like Su Quan is Su Xuan. I don't get it. But what I was saying, uh, Sao Tzu and Su Quan, if you use any kind of sword, if you use sword, they fight the same, but they have an expertise, they got the wrong little attack on one button combination. You know, it's pretty cool, but I hate the fact that they took away the originality of each character's fighting. But there's a lot of different fighting styles in this. Well, at least over 20. But like I said, one expertise per person. Uh, there's actually one enemy, or one character. He has an expertise in one, but his uh, attack, uh, Mushu attack is not that expertise attack. It's something completely different. It's a different style. You know, it's kind of ridiculous, but they make up for it. All right, we covered gameplay, somewhat of the stories. Um, there is a dictionary mode, all stuff like that, where you can actually look up on these in, on these people, learn about their stuff, and it's actual stuff too. They're, these people actually lived back then, so you get to learn more about them, even the you know that style, the Dynasty Warrior style place, like Lu Bu being able to take down a thousand Legion in a single day. I, I doubt it, but it's Lu Bu. He's powerful as so. hell. Ah, let's see. What have I not covered just yet? I think I covered everything. I'm ready to get back to my game. Stupid computer. Say it again. All right. We'll see about that next time. Adults I never did this uh, score yet, have I? I'm so eager to go back to my game, aren't I? Let's see. Dynasty Warrior 7 hits a 7 out of 10. I'm a fan of this series. Number 7 kind of dumbed it down a little bit. You gain more people to fight as, but the fighting styles, if you have... Okay. I've already said it before, Sao Tsao and Sun Quan. That's basically it. If you choose this certain fighting style, you fight the same as this person does. You can give that same fighting style one of the bigger characters, and that character moves the same speed as the other one. So it's like, no originality there. There's no creative character, but that's only in the Empires. That's understandable. Um, you know, each one is a little short, five hours. Most of it's cutscenes. So, give or take, maybe four to four and a half hours. <sighs> so, this is Delta Merrick's going back to his game. 